So in this quick tutorial, I'll show you how to make the effect you can see in this shot. So first of all, you need a loop cut from your exhaust pipe. You can select it in edit mode and press P to separate it, and then convert it to a spline or a curve. Then change the spline type to Bezier, and set the handle type to automatic. Now go back to object mode and select the curve, and place curves that selected. Now I can add a cylinder. Keep the vertex count very low because you need a lot of these small cylinders. Scale down the cylinder and add a curve modifier to it. In the curve modifier, pick the curve you just created from the exhaust pipe. Now you need to add an array modifier and add a bit of offset in the x-axis. And then change the fit type to fit curve and select the curve. Maybe it doesn't work in the beginning, but you just have to apply the scale of the cylinder. Then it will automatically fit the number of cylinders onto the curve. Now you can adjust the rotation and the scale of the cylinders to fit your liking. And when you're done, you can add another array modifier and start adding more rings inside the exhaust pipe. Now you need to add a boolean modifier to your exhaust pipe and select the cylinders as your boolean object. To quickly apply all the modifiers to your small cylinders, just go into convert to and then convert it to mesh. This will just apply all the modifiers. Then you can delete the cylinders you don't need anymore. If the boolean operation is messing up some of the cylinders, just move the cylinders a little bit and in most cases it will fix the problem. The next thing you have to do is to add a vertex group, call it mask, and then set the vertex pane for all the vertices to zero. Then you can go ahead and add a plane. You'll use this plane to animate the boolean. Select the boolean object and add a mask modifier and a vertex weight proximity modifier. In both modifiers, pick the vertex group mask, and in the proximity modifier, pick the plane as the target object. Now you have to change distance to geometry and set the mode to phase and put the lowest value to 0.99. This will just give us a constant fall off. Now everything is working and you can see how the plane is revealing our brilliant mesh. This method can be used for a lot of other things. You can also add an array modifier on the plane and extend it with a lot of extra faces so you will have a bigger area that will be affected. Now you can set the viewport shading for the boolean mesh to bounce and you will be able to see the holes that the boolean mesh is cutting into the exhaust pipe.